The Hexaghost. I haven't played this, I don't believe. I don't think I played the Hexaghost. Have I? And a cursed spirit of the Spire is sealed to an eternal fate as a protector. The first time you ignite a ghost flame each turn, gain six block. Spirit brand. Music slapping, boys. Rise, servant. I brought you back. Max HP, Misa. Alright. Should I go and unlock everything and make everything Ascension 20? Should I do it? Early Elite, that's crazy. I hear you. I mean, you, you gotta figure it out. Figure it out for yourself how you can make the best stream schedule for yourself, but also have time to, like, at some point, get something else to another platform, you know? Trust me, if you get stuff out to another platform, it'll help you out. Unlocking myself more content? True. True. But that's a lot of Ascension levels. That's a lot of Ascension levels, man. I can't do Ascension 20 for every single character all over again. My lord. That's just too much. Unless I speedrun it. Unless we do a speedrun. Ascension 20 all characters in 10 hours or 100 subs. 10 hours? Is that too little? That's too little. What's the average time if you're going super fast to get to Ascension 20? Let's think about it. Alright, so 20 runs, right? And each run, if you're going fast, is 30 minutes. So that means... 10 hours, if each run is 20 min 30 minutes. If each run is 30 minutes, an average of 30 minutes, you do 10 hours for Ascension 20. Times that by 4 characters? That's 40 hours. And that's if you're doing 30, 30 minutes of average. If you go really fast in the beginning, then you can save some time on your average time. But if your average time is 30 minutes, it's 10 hours of character. It's a lot of hours. Jeez. I can spend 40 hours on TFT and get to rank 1. No, I, that's, that's a pipe dream. That's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream. I want to make it a reality. Rank 1. Rank 1. You know how Tyler1 has this thing about hitting rank 1? Yeah. Yeah. Assuming I win everyone, exactly. There might be some losses. Alright, let's go. Wait. Take a look at our deck. 4 strikes, 4 defends. Apply Soul Burn. After three turns, a Soul Burn enemy loses HP, removing the Soul Burn effects. Ethereal. Draw a card. Advance. Activate the next Ghost Flame. If it's ignited, extinguish it. The first time you ignite a Ghost Flame, gain six block. Alright, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Short of streamers. <laughs> Man, you didn't gotta do them like that. You didn't have to do them like that. You may choose to retract or advance. Now, retracting activates the previous ghost flame, and if it's ignited, extinguish it. Interesting. Let's do more soul burn, whatever that does. It's damage. No, take care, man. Good luck. One. Boom. Can I do an elite at this at this uh, level <laughs> level four three? There's no way. Wait, what? Okay. Ignites when two attacks are played. Ignition. When ignited, apply four Soberns to a random enemy. At the end of your turn, if this is ignited, advance to the next Ghost Flame. 
ignited apply force so burned okay they do the same thing then yeah okay, I'm so confused so if I play two attacks then I ignite I gain block and if I advance crushing ghost flame when ignited deal four damage to random enemy twice This is a cool character. Searing Ghost Flame. Bolstering Ghost Flame. When a power is played, you gain four block and one strength. Who has the most watch on the Asian subject? If you if you if you sub as a reach every month, if, unless you cancel, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe. I think with Twitch Prime, you have to manually do it. The first time you retract each turn, gain energy and draw a card. Retract. I need a power in my deck. I'm gonna try it. If the active ghost flame is not ignited, you gain energy and gain ten block. Deal 14 damage. If this card is exhausted, add a Shadow Strike to your deck. Shadow Strike is a 14 damage one. Whoa. So we don't play this card? You just don't play it and then you get a 1 mana 14. It's the power always. It's the Devil's Dance. Oh, a menacing structure lies before you. This is a new event. Most would never dare approach it, but you know its purpose and know it could be of good use. Great use, even. You enter the chamber and prepare to make a sacrifice. Lose 7 HP and gain the first seal. Paint a piece of your very soul. You acquire the seal. One more step in the path to your ultimate power. Ooh, I want the other seal. Can I do it? Other seals? Evening, Grim T. Evening. At the end of combat, heal 7 HP. Whoa. Mama, there goes that man. First time you retract each turn, gain energy and draw a card. I don't have the retract possibility just yet. I have a package. I gotta go get it. Let's go do this. One, two. Ignite and game block. No, I had to offer life, not gold. I offered life. I wanna I wanna ignite this. That's pretty good damage. Who deserves a chub? I can tell you who deserves a chub. Uh, not a chub. If you want a chub, you can call me later. You know what I'm saying? But if you want a sub, I think... Alright, I mean, saying somebody deserves something, then everybody else is going to be like, well, but what about me? You know what? Sword Strife deserves a sub. Because he reminded me of my dog. I'll have to play two skills to activate that. Err. If I knew that, I'd double block. Whoopsies. Okay, that's two skills. Thank you for the gift of sub, man. And Sword Strife deserves it. Retract, gain energy. Activate the previous growth lane. I like this. This is cool. This is cool. Let's do some retracting some stuff. Let's try this stuff out. And we have Death Dance to make that even better. Death stance. Wait, I retracted. Whoa, Infernal Ghost Flame. This is sick. You can retract back to the ultimate form, the one, that's the last one, but also the first one. Because I okay. When spending two energy, you activate this. When it's ignited, you deal four damage to a random enemy for each ignited Ghost Flame, then extinguish them. If this is active, advance. Well, unfortunately, I haven't extinguished anything, but it's still cool that I can do that, and I can go forward and get to the good one, which is. 8 damage. 
This is a cool little class. I'm learning it on the fly, guys. You know what I could do is retract. Right? Let's go over here real quick. Wait, but now I want to advance. Wait. Okay, I should have done two skills, then retract, then two skills again. Ah, I messed up. So let's advance. Two skills. One, two. Perfect. In two turns, he's dead. 28 damage. GG. This class is awesome! Apply 5 Soul Burn, repeat for each ignited Ghost Flame. Obsidian Edge with the 92, that means he was born in 92, hopefully, because if he is, he's a brethren. We are 92 babies, we are the monkey in the Chinese uh, years. A fellow monkey brethren. Potentially a Virgo, in which case he might be my long last twin. And uh, in power, we got gain six block and one strength. Replace the active ghost flame with the bolstering ghost flame. Do it. Bolster me. I'm not ready to fight the merchant, but you know what? Let's fight the merchant. Blue candle. Let's get rid of this. Because there's a thing where if you break the keys early, you have a different mind bloom event, which I need to make happen. In power. I played a power, right? I ignited the bolster. Hey, Chaos, welcome to the live stream, buddy. I played two skills here. I can activate this. So, I float, then retract two skills, and then two strikes. So now I do Devil's Dance, I retract, I play this to retract, I don't have a power, so I just go fuck myself. Excuse my French. I don't have a power, so I advance, I have still, so I go bam bam, and then I strike. Alright, decent damage, except the 14 didn't go off. Soulburn's not very good against this guy, because he runs away. You put a picture of your bearded dragon and cat in general. Oh, let me check it out. Wait, let me like this immediately. Let me check this out. Why didn't I see that? Oh, that's so cute. Oh my. So cute. Let me put a picture of something that I have. So you know, I'm gonna start sharing more in this Discord. We need to share more in the Discord. All right, my Discord needs love. Let's do, let's share. Um, guys, let me show you something that I have. All right, everybody, get ready to see me when I was a kid. My dad sent a photo the other day. I was like, you know, I, I haven't seen many photos of me when I was a young, 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 young kid. I'm on the left. Don't make that face! <laughs> no, it's okay, you can make the face, it's fine. Alright. There, we're sharing, we're sharing. Look, we're sharing. Alright. Yeah, you can jump a pet pick, it's fine. Alright, we got Slime Boss. Gain 16 block. On your next turn, gain 3 energy and add Slime Crush to your hand. Hey, I like this, that's a good card. After Soberin donates on this enemy, apply to a Soberin. That's really slow, but you know, I like the Prepare Crush. It's a good card. I feel free to add all the pet picks. I'm a, I'm a, I like pets. I don't have enough souls to break the Sapphire, unfortunately, but I can recall. Instead, I'm going to do this. 20 block and massive damage. Except, I sort of like this. 2 strength. That is sexy. Because you know what that's good? That's good for when I do my ultimate form. Wait, this is perfect. 
Unfortunately, I can't play this. This is perfect. You want cooking food picks? I've made some peeflings with my son I can share later. Is it half moon pie? Absolutely. Share away. Whoa. Free energy. Whoa. Advance. Damn, I'm kicking this guy's ass. I'm strong as fuck. Mummified hand. Ooh, that's good. Wait, did you guys see that fight? What a fight. If the active uh, Ghost Flame is not ignited, gain energy to damage. Okay, deal 7 damage. If the enemy has Soul Burn, gain 5 block. Apply 5 Soul Burn. The next target Soul Burn detonates. It affects all enemies. That's AoE. I like it. I like it. I like it. Living Bomb. Not bad. A little bit of Corpse Explosion esque. And that's Corpse Explosion esque is good enough for me. You walk into your room to find a large hole in the ground. As you approach the hole, an enormous serpent creature appears from within. Sounds like my room. Ho ho! Hello, hello! What have we got here? To you, my overlord, I ask a simple question. The most fulfilling of lives is that in which you can punch anything. Do you agree? I, yeah, you know what? I kind of agree. Except I don't. I don't want to get doubt. I am doubtful. I'm a little bit doubtful. I agree. I agree. Give me the souls in which sort of look like spermlings, but, you know, um, that's just my mind acting up. We can retract. Uh, okay, let's do this. One, two. Then we retract. And then we do th that. Eh, not bad. One. Terror. I should have picked three energy. That was my bad. I played that wrong. This guy's dead in two turns, so I just gotta survive for two turns. He's dead. Deal 5 damage, apply 5 soul burn. Deal 20 damage, damage is increased by enemy soul burn. That's pretty good, but it's also a little expensive. Mm. I like the art. So, the mechanic works that there's little things, uh, I'll, I'll show you in the next fight, it's easier to explain visually. So, in order to activate this flame, I had to play two attacks, right? And when it ignites, it does four random soldiers to a random enemy. And when it ignites, because of my starting relic, when you ignite a ghost flame, you gain six block. And then the next turn, you get a new thing with new conditions to activate it. So, for instance, I strike twice. One, two. I ignited that ghost flame, the searing one. Now I have six block. Next turn, I'm going to get advanced to the next stage. But, I have a thing called the advance and do it right now. Boom. So now there's a new ghost flame called the crushing one. And in order to activate this, I need to do two skills. And when I do two skills, it does four damage twice to a random enemy. And also, if I were to ignite this, I also gain six block. Except I lied, it's the first time and first time only. But you get the gist. Yeah, I can imagine he crushes very strong. I probably should have put it in my deck because there are times where I have a lot of soul burn and I can't do anything with it. So now I'm going to go ahead and, and retract. And I'm back to the Mr. Strike Strike. Which I cannot activate. Unfortunate. First time. If I retract again, now we have 
All I gotta do is spend three energy to activate Infernal Ghost Flame. When ignited, deal four damage to random enemy for each ignited Ghost Flame. Then extinguish them. I can go in advance and get out of here, but I actually don't mind using this. I'm gonna do one, two, three energy. And you know what? I don't have attack, so let me advance. And now we have to play a power, which I do not have. So we play this. And he's dead. A lot of cool stuff. Second seal. At the end of combat, gain eight additional souls. Whoa, these seals are kind of crazy. The goal would be to finish the combo. So if you finish the combo, then the last one does a lot more damage because you've extinguished a lot more flames. But I am at the point where I'm just like, retract, advance, retract, advance. Because I'm a noob. But uh, if I wasn't a noob, maybe I would uh, finally, for the boss, advance to the final stage and do a big amount of damage. Which I haven't needed to do yet because I'm in hallway fights. Cards and ghost flames apply two more soul burn. Gain to a block. Whenever your attack is turned, apply a full soul burn to attack. It's a cool block card. That's not the worst. Second seal. Let's get all the seals. Let's get it summon Exodia. That's the goal. Retracts. Spend three energy. One, two, oops, lied. The first time ever I saw your face. I'm in love, so sweet. First time. Ever I saw your face. Cards and ghost flames apply to more sober. And deal five damage and apply five sober to a random enemy X times. Skip. Hydration. I got you. Hydration time. Hydrate for a brother. The brother needs you to hydrate. So, what we're gonna do is play everything. You ready? One, two, Three, four, five. Yeah, you ask, why didn't you retract right away? And that's a good question. So we're gonna play everything, you ready? One, two, three, whoop, activated, doom, 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 four, boom. Um, let's advance first. Ah, fuck. Burn, burn. Full block. Are you guys following along or is it just me who's doing random stuff and thinks that everybody can understand? Because uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm trying to be explaining this, but it may be confusing. In turn. Corpse explosion. Got him. Deal 11 damage from retracts. Backtrack smack. Deal 7 damage. If your hand contains another ethereal card, deal another 7 damage. That's pretty good. I like that card. Going against the silent, and the silent has a lantern. Well, well, well. Two attacks. One, two. Then I play you. Boom. Boom. Alright, no bad. You know what? Let's use two skills. Retract. And then not play my most important card, which is this. <laughs> Just kidding. You see, I was under the impression that you made it cheaper. And that's because I'm a noob. Advance. All right, let me try to ignite some of these things. I feel like I'm playing this all wrong. Let's try to ignite multiple things. So two skills, all right? One, two. All right, I ignited it. 
Now let's retract. Play a power. Well, that's a little bit awkward because. We're kind of getting our booty smacked. So it's weird because I ignited, but then I retracted. So then it's since I retracted, it's no longer ignited. That's not good. Three energy, perfect. Now I'm back in bolstering, which I can't use. So let me advance. Two skills. And that's that. I'm getting my ass destroyed. Attack. Attack. Block. I'm doing this all wrong. Retract. <laughs> no, don't do it. Alright. Okay. Go slash. Draw card advance. Attack. Attack. And now finally I scaled up. I do four times four. That's this is what it all comes down to. It all comes down to this moment. Four times four. And it didn't even matter. But we learned that there were some things we did wrong. Uh, these are a lot of seals. Look at these. At the end of combat, upgrade a random card in your deck. Whoa. At the end of combat, gain an additional seal card reward. Interesting. Whenever you play an ethereal card, deal five damage to a random enemy. <clears throat> I think I like fifth seal. Okay. Xanatos Icy Charm. Gain energy at the start of your turn. Soul Burn takes four turns to activate. Double effect of potions. All right, Xanatos it is. If I if I did the other seal thing, I could get all the seal cards. Damn, you're right. You're right. Can I find an elite right away? I don't know. That's a little crazy. I always ask this question, and I always get the same response. Yes, you can, but they're lying to me. How do you scale with the retract build? So instead of advancing, you just retract constantly? Is that how you scale for retract build? Let's find out. I'm advancing, I'm attracting, I'm advancing, I'm attracting. Yeah, we're gonna upload this to YouTube. Um, the end of your turn, if it's ignited, it will automatically advance. You only need to advance manually if you can ignite more than one in turn or can't ignite it at all. You can also do extra ignites early. It would just store it until you get to that spot. Like when you play a power, it stores it and shows a small gold flame. Oh. So I have a couple gold flames. I barely touched this man. Prepare crush has been upgraded. Very nice, very nice. The 
start of your turn, choose one of the root. Yes, I like toolbox a lot. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame, apply three sword burn to a random enemy. Afterlife. If this card is exhausted, its effects activate. Gain a block and draw one card. So this cool ethereal afterlife mechanic in this deck. I like it. Let's go ahead and get toolbox and remove a strike or think about Centennial Puzzle. Remove or strike it is. Tucked in the darkness, you spot a small shop. Within, you see a pale woman in shop clothes managing an inventory of potions stacked along the wall very nicely. She is startled by your threatening appearance. Leave me and my wares alone, Cretan. She screams. You punch her in the face and gain a potion relic and three potions. No one tells me to leave somebody alone. I do as I please. You upgrade everything in your deck. And then you play the Devil's Dance. The second seal. The empowerment. And you strike her down. I'm gonna take her to HR, she screams. You laugh to yourself, thinking there is no regulation in the spire. I can punch you all I please. Let's retract. Let's advance. Ah, you know what? Retract. Ooh. Power. Who needs the best flame? Not I. What is she doing? A negative effect. It looks like a curse. Stop that. Stop it. Advance. Just kidding. What's she doing to me? She threw potions at me. Oh no, she made me weak and vulnerable. That was cute and cool and awesome. And awesome and also cool. Wow, that was cool. I like that. Intangible pot and fairy in the bottle. Wait a minute. This girl has too many potions. I just caught on. Holy snaps. I just caught on. Aha! Fairy Potion! Wait, how did that work? She was intangible. Lady, your potions are busted. The boot! It was the boot! Oh, ho, 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 ho! The boot, the boot, the boot! I'm not playing this class correctly at all. I'm not using my ignitions or anything properly in any way, shape, or form. There's just no way. I'm doing it all wrong. It's all wrong right now. Everything I'm doing is wrong. Fire pot and ritual pot. Ooh, she's getting stronger. What am I doing with this? Why is bolstering... What? Oh my lord. I did something wrong with bolstering. Bolstering Ghost Flame is not the move. It was not the move. Snake Oil. Distilled cast. So what? You use an intangible fairy in the bottle and you leave me this crap? White bee statue. How fitting. Wow, that's awesome. What happens if you have two what if you have two death dance? Um two devil's dance rather. 
Gain energy and draw one card for each ignited ghost flame, then extinguish them. So I have a question. If they're ignited, right, but they're gold because I ignited them but then retracted, is the retraction making them extinguished? It is, yeah? So, so if I were to use this, most of the time it's getting no value. Yeah, the, the relic was intentional. Tracking doesn't extinguish them. Okay, let's try this out. Alright, cool. Remove all debuffs. Gain one strength. If you're below half HP, gain two strength. Automatum. Deal 26 damage to all enemies. At the start of your next turn, lose energy. Haya. There's a lot of good cards here. Bear with me. Boom. Okay. Boom. Boom. Ah. Wait. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense that makes. Okay, what is Empower doing? Empower is ruining me. Replace the active Ghost Flame with Bolstering Ghost Flame. Bolstering Ghost Flame needs a power. Okay, now I'm understanding the cards that I'm playing that I have in my deck. And Okay, I understand now. I don't like that. But now I like that. Advance. One more energy and we're good. Boom. For each ignited ghost flame, you told me I only ignited two ghost flames? I could have sworn I ignited more. Well, I didn't take any damage. She's dead, or he's dead. And I upgraded a card. Very nice. And I got a potion. But I had two things that were ignited that were gold. Were they not ignited? Deal four damage and apply four sword burn to a random enemy five times. I like that, that sounds really good. Oh, it does a base of one. Let me read it again. Let me read it again. Four damage to a red enemy for each United Ghost Flame. So when it's gold... These are not gold. Or these are not gold. Okay, so that's not gold. Okay, this is not active. This is not active. Okay, okay, okay. I'll check it out, Grimty. I'll check it out. Thank you for pushing your dog. Alright, I see what I did wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. First time ever I saw your face. I'm in love. I get it. I didn't get to play my, my potions. The, not, the thing that gives me a, a um, what's it called? I didn't get to get a random upgrade, I don't think, right? Very good. Nice. Whoa, what? 
Sneaky Teakwood Matchstick. Okay, at the start of your first turn, ignite the active Ghost Flame and advance. Ignite the active Ghost Flame and advance. Done. Exhaust one card. Replace it with a random colorless boss card that costs one less. Chrono boosts. Gain two strength for every 12th card you play. Is this not Jeremiah's toolbox? Where is my, my relic? Because my relic is a good one. If they did what I thought they did. Has anybody seen my relic in this game? I gotta go. Hey, take care, man. Take care of the sword. Two shit for every 12 card you play. I think you see the Ghost Inferno corrupt. What did Beta Chest do? Alright, Devil's Dance. So did I not ignite two things there? So that's what I'm trying, kind of confused because I could have swear I ignited two things there. What's up, JP? Whoa! 56 block! Nice. Pantograph. Nice. Gain 5 Extensity. Lose it in X plus 1 turns. Intensity increases the amount of damage. Surburn and block applied by Ghost Flames when ignited. This looks like an interesting card. What's up the moped? How you doing buddy? It would all come together, do not worry. I should recall, right? It's like this is like bias cog. Doing good, man. Welcome. Awaken one. Deal 12 damage to all enemies. The next time each enemy does not attack on their turn, gain one strength. Or to enter defensive mode. Dark Void it is. So if I play two skills, I can do my thing. So, this is already ignited. So if I rewind, it's no longer ignited. If it's ignited, extinguish it. Got it. 
So nothing is ignited right now. If I spend three energy, I could do four attacks. So. All right. I can replace my best one with active ghost flame, but I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is... Dark Void. Incineration. Activate my ghost thing. Boom, then the boot comes into play. Now I'm in a new one. So then I play this. And I replace this one with Bullstream. You just stick to the base game for now? Yeah, if you if you haven't played a lot of look, I mean this is good for someone like me who's played a lot of the base game. So I use a power. So I've ex I've currently ignited only one, so I can get rid of that and draw one card, and I can reignite it with Hip Seal. Boom. Add Soul Burn. Now I can advance. That's still ignited. Sick. One more skill. So I need to play two skills and then I can activate this. So if I do one, boom, it's already ignited. So now I can do something like this. First seal, boom. Now two attacks, because we're in Searing Ghost Flame. So then I do, well, I can't play two attacks. So this advance. Play power. Well, I can't play power. So I just smack him and turn it up. So now when I play power, I gain nine block and do one damage. I don't have a power, so let's go back. I've got two attacks. So now we do two attacks. One. Two. And boom. Soul burn. Sick. I get it, I get it, I get it. What's up, Tushin? I don't have a power, so I advance. Two attacks. I don't have two attacks. I need more attacks. Nice. So, but I'm gonna go back one. I'm gonna kill him because I don't want to die. I don't want to use that. I want to use the vulnerable. Whoopsies. They both work. Thermal stone. Is Soberin detonates heal two HP at the end of combat? Cool. Deal eleven damage. If the active ghost limb is ignited, force ignited. What does that mean? Triggers the ignition effect, even if it was already ignited. That's cool. Gain 16 block. If this card is exhausted, add a shadow guys plus. Cool. If the enemy has soul burn, you gain 8 block. So this is 10 damage, 8 block for 1 mana. Eh. I need more attacks though, that's for sure. So that's pretty good because it's a good attack, right? I need more attacks. Triggers the effects that happen at the start of your turn. Two blinds. So we need two skills here. One... Unfortunately, I can do nothing. Two skills. But if I retract... It goes back to two attacks. So now two attacks again. Boom. Boom. It didn't count as igniting, so it's only the first time you ignite, of course. 
Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting. Now I have to reignite this one. So two skills. One, two. And what if I replace it with bolstering? It loses its ignition. But now I reignite it. Boom. Sick. Two attacks. I don't have that. So I could just draw. I'll just do this. I want to try to like ignite most of these. One more attack. And he's dead now. Force ignite the previous ghost flame. Yes. That's a good card. All right. Let me sit up. Things are getting interesting. Go to the merchant one more time. I still gotta break the green key and I gotta break the red key. I also gotta kill. I gotta kill the uh, the merchant. I'm I'm, I'm understanding it now. Yeah, I'm trying to understand it. Just a tad bit. Even if we go away, even if and even if we go away, I'm a classy man. Now advance. I don't want to retract, but... Power? X98. Hello, man. So we have 22 plus 39. 61. There's more, there's more. So you're actually also fighting the Silent, the Ironclad, and the uh, Watcher. Whenever you ignite a Ghost Flame, apply five Serpent into a random enemy. Draw two cards. Add all the cards in your hand become ethereal. Fire starter. How do I utilize Soulburn? I'm not utilizing it very well recently. I guess it makes heat shield better. I'm gonna skip these. I I, I can I can play this again to make a much better deck. My deck is very not that great right now. Gain one strength. Add a random attack card to your hand. It causes zero this turn. Do a 12 damage. Gain 12 block. Add a random colors boss cards and it causes zero to play. Let's do this evil within. And let's reroll our boss card. So let's do Devil's Dance. Okay. So now we have two attacks. So we have one attack. And two attack. Very nice. And 
intensity. And I can replace this with empower. No, I have no something, nothing I can play. So we have a lot of. So what's really important is that I let this thing detonate. The problem is he runs away before it could happen, right? So I want to bring this back. So see, we're how you doing. Advance. Bright Ritual. Rewind. First Seal. Catch up. I'm, f I'm doing it. Lads, I'm doing it. I should have uh, fear putted him. So, the Sobern still activating, right? I should have done one more earlier. I could have killed him. Wait, I can do it. I can kill him. So the soul burn is gonna go, right? Okay, I can kill him next time I see him. All right, boys, we're gonna see Act Four. All right, boys, we're gonna see Act Four. I can kill him, and I gotta do the keys. We doing this? Act Four is happening. Put an inferior card from your exhaust pile into your hand. Are you playing cards? Draw a card. My stream just dropped a couple of frames. I did dro I did lag a little bit. I'm not sure why, but I did drop a couple of frames. I dropped 0.78 percent of frames, more roughly 3,000 frames. Hopefully, my internet stays okay. Let's choose some cards to add. Skip a beat. It force ignite the next one. I like that. I like that. Force ignite. That's super cool. That's cool. Force ignite the active ghost flame. That's cool. This is cool. Whenever you advance, gain through block. That's pretty good. Yeah, it looks like I'm not dropping frames at the moment. Force ignite the previous speed running. Whenever you advance, let's do that. Oh, how many seals so far? So I got all the seals. Okay, I I could have got the other seal. There was like a third one that I saw. Is there really an Exodia thing that I could do? Wait, I should try that. Whoopsies. I was sleeping on the Exodia. I was sleeping on Exodia. Okay, it was. I think I the next seal. I got you. Advance. Two skills. One, two. I don't want to kill it because I want the sober to activate. But I gain block if I... I gain block if I do that, so I don't know. It's better for me to do that, to gain block. I advance, right? But then I force ignite. And now I have 4 times 5 as a finisher. We did it! For each Ignited Ghost Limb, upgrade a card in your hand. 
All right, Ironclad, what do you got for me? Move all debuffs, gain one strength. Okay, put random skill. So we play two skills here. One. Two. He has Tori. I know, I've been retracted. I know, I know. But I need to play that card. That's the problem. It's unfortunate. It's a massive turn, but ultimately didn't do too much. Two attacks, two attacks, two attacks. He has Flame Barrier. Pesky man. He's skilling quickly. I might lose. It's a demon form. I need something like fast forward. Yeah, I like. I want to just change it as well. I like that contextual stuff. Oh, there we go. Force ignite. There we go. Here we go. Do it again. Strike. Fast forward. Pog. You're me. Hey, welcome, man. Give me a seal. Ah. Deal 5 damage twice. Replace the active ghost flame with the crushing ghost flame. Unleash spirits. Deal 5 damage to red. Enemy repeat it for each three card in your exhaust pile. Time warp. Deal 4 damage. Whenever you advance or retract, return this card from your. Oh, that's cool. Time warp is kind of cool. How does Rune Pyramid help me? Ring Pyramid helps me by letting me hold on to... They have reached the beyond. Fighting the defect. It's a first. We're fighting the defect. Pog. All right, guys. Buckle up, buckle in, settle down, and settle now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what we got to do is break this green relic. We got to recall and then break the red ones. We need three campfires. One, two, three campfires. And then we gotta kill the merchant. So we kill the merchant here. Break. Recall. Kill the merchant. I should've played my powers to get like upgrades. Oopsies. 
I was just so focused on getting the merchant. Got a lot of souls. Wait, how much did it say? I didn't know. It a lot of souls. How much was it? I wasn't paying attention. Three hundred plus. Damn, a lot of souls. A lot of souls. Fossilized helix. So third seal. We have to get all the seals, right? So I'll buy the seal. So we're we're missing what seal? The fourth one. We have first, fifth, second, third. I'm missing the fourth and the sixth. I have to seventy-five day break. Yeah. Mayhem. Remove. Gain one intangible. Let's do helix. Is there another? And I got a break. And then I got to fight an elite. So we need to save 75. Force and ignite the active ghost flame three times. Six seal, six seal, six seal, six seal. Blah, blah, blah. Tongue twister. All right, let's go. Hold this pot. Collector. It's a lot of powers. So, go back. Get all the seals. Apparently, uh, I break the game. Look at this, look at this, look at this. And then I play it again. Boom! It happened again. Okay, look at look at and then I do this. And oh, I'm just kidding. That's it. That's all I got. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was some good damage. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I think it was offered between 6th and 5th. So I got offered 6th and 5th and I chose the 5th. I had to find the 6th again. Four, fast forward is good. I like it. Muddle the two highest cards in your hand. What is muddle? Muddling card changes it between... Ooh, that's sick. That's a cool concept. Hey, I like muddled. More speed running. Alright, we gotta break this. And alas. And alas. Goop spray. Goopy goopy. Two skills. One. Two. Retract. I gotta get lucky. You guys ready? 50 50. No. That was a lot of damage. Whoa. Yes, now that I know how it works, I need to replay this ASAP. You're not wrong. Two turns, they all die. That's gotta survive. In two turns, they all die. The mummy hand is amazing. I love mummy hand. How can you not? So they're all gonna die here. So I'll let them just die like that. 
but uh let's get that seal out we're one sealing we're one seal off from uh we're one seal off from exodia add a card does this affect the rare chance? So you know how when you see extra cards, you get a rare chance? I wonder if that seal affects rare chance because it's a whole new card option. Maybe. If the active ghost flame is ignited, apply 20 soul burn. If not, deal 13 damage. Um, gain 3 dexterity and lose 1 strength. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Whenever you ignite a ghost flame, apply... That's pretty cool, actually. Force ignite the next ghost flame. Let's do that. Alright, what do we got here? Potion belt. Love it. That's perfect. Let's fight an elite and get on our way. Um, defensive mode. So two skills, right? So this is one skill. Two skills and then I'm gonna go all the way back in time just kidding I'm not gonna do devil's dance I'm just gonna relax so now I replace this one with bolstering play the power we are ignited out of our minds fast forward That was bad. That was a bad play. I regret that last one. More powers. Do it again. Alright, we're getting there. Two attacks, two attacks. Alright. Advance. Boom! Bomb! Why am I getting cursed? Wait, why didn't it get malleable? What? We're, we're missing seal. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Four and six. Uh, it's gonna be hard. But next time though, next time. Here and now. Gain two strength, lose your strength when you advance or retract. Oh, that's not good for me. It's like lightning. Yeah, I guess it's like lightning. I suppose so. Two attacks, right? Ah, but I like the collector. So two skills. Force ignite this. Okay, now I need to go forward because I want to go to powers. Play the powers. Turn it up. Seer. What's up, Lou Luddy? I recently lost my doctor to cancer and just wanted to say that your videos and streams have really helped me through these last few weeks. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm so sorry to hear that, man. And I'm glad I can be here to help you. And uh, hang in there, man. It's forcing at the previous one. Need to attack. I gotta. 
I gotta play uh, two attacks, which I don't have, so... I have an idea. That's my idea. <laughs> this is my idea. Okay, I need to play power. Now, force ignite the next one, right? Go slash. Strike. Slime. And then bright ritual. Alright. Let's go back in time. Actually, second seal. Now we go back in time. Fifth seal. Nice. Another power. Perfect. Should have done that first. Oopsies. Okay. Two attacks. Two attacks. One. Two. Nice. Okay. It wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. Hexa level. At the start of your turn, gain one intensity. Yes. There's my rare. I need another rare. Ah, not the rare we need. Add her in a power card into your hand. It costs... Wait, can this give me the fifth seal and the fourth seal? Sorry, the sixth and the fourth? What's the upgrade of this? White noise is a rare. White noise is a rare. I always knew white noise is a rare. I always knew it. It was too good. White well, noise is too good of a power, too good of a skill. This makes a six heal. But that's such RNG. Fuck it. RNG it is. Excuse my French. Oh, nice. We found a shop. What? Sorry, Mall Bank. X cost cards. Turn it up as the only one. Meh. I like Ninjaku. I like Ninjaku. I also want to remove. This is a weird little deck. It's my cute little deck. It can't make seals? I'm heartbroken. You should have kept that to yourself, even if it was true. No, I'm kidding. Alright, we'll find out. And Jaku. I mean... Finesse. Let's go. Oh, is it? Interesting. Add a random power card. But this could be the sixth seal. First and foremost, two skills. Does this count as a second skill? It should, right? It should, yes, it counted. So now I need two attacks. Two skills. One, two. I don't want to use this. Fine, I'll do it. Red Beardy, thanks for the raid, buddy. How you doing? How was your stream? Appreciate it. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're playing Downfall, a mod which reverses the roles in Slay the Spire. Quite a good one, in fact. Forcing at the previous one. Beautiful. How about we just do turn it up? Hope you had a great stream, dude. Thank you for the raid. Force ignite the next ghost flame. Well, okay, force ignite this one I have. Then I have second seal. Ignite that one. 
And then force ignite the next one. Boom. And let's do it all again by retracting. Playing this. Wait, that's weird. How am I... Wait, that was weird. Did I just replace my strongest one with this? I think I might have. I think I might have, actually. Oh, no. I'm all the way over here. What? Something weird happened. Yeah, downfall was really fun, man. You had a, a really good looking run, but you had a shot you just playing on Repo. Repo... Repo Mantra costs us everybody a lot of runs. It's the... How do we say it's the... Uh, I'm blanking. A requisite. A requ requisite. It's like the init initiation. It's not, okay, there's a word that I'm forgetting the word, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Initiation for slaves power players. All right, give me six seal. Eh. It's worth a shot. I was on the 5th, ignited the 6th, retracted the 4th. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. Let me put it that way. That makes a lot of sense. Slime Crush. Let's advance. Here we are. 14 times 3. 1. So I gotta do... 1. 2. Oh, he's dead. Fuck. Add a random 3 card. Hexagard. Nope. Nope. Wait, I couldn't beat him up this time. Oh, this is not the guy that I beat up. This is the guy that he asked me again. Should I try it? But what if it's a curse? Uh, okay, I'll take the free heal. I guess I could afford a curse, though. Choose one... Of three boss then toolbox is so good here. So what is my where's my relic? I want to see my relic. Cause I know my relic has to do with colorless cards, and clearly colorless cards are much stronger in this. Boss a weaker one. When you would die, heal 10 HP instead. Wait, that's awesome. Give a copy of each of his boss cards. That's nutty. Okay, we have in time of need. We have quick study. I want to get all of the. This gives me a random power, right? The random power could be a seal, so I want that. But I can only play one a turn, so let's play a random power. Retracts. Two attacks. One. Two. I didn't hit the thorn, I was just great. Looks like the seals are not gonna happen, guys. Sad truth. Imagine I had calibers. 
Alright, so two attacks, which I don't have, so let's try to uh, get a random power. Nope. Taking damage for the first time in a long time. First time. Retracting back to attacks destroyed me because my deck has no attacks. <laughs> Holy shiznit. Wait. Retracting back to attacks destroyed me. I had no attacks in my deck. There's one. There's one. I was a. Fast forward, get me out of here, please. He's sobering out of his mind right now. All right, uh, we're gonna have to heal. All right, boys, final boss. We got Pandagraph. My first time seeing the defects. We have Panache. We also have Trip. I'm gonna do Panache. All right. So, remove all enemy orbs. Ah, so if things get a little crazy, we can remove the orbs. All right. He's gonna do Chill, Storm, and Ball Lightning. He has gotten 200 max HP, 300 max HP rather. Birdface earns so he has some sustain. That's very good, brother. This guy's lucky. He's high rolling. Anger, which is nice. He's got an inserter, which he's scaling. He has symbiotic virus. It's fusion hammer. He also did the Coliseum. This guy is a mad mad lad. He did the Coliseum. What a mad lad. Clearly he's got balls of steel. You can't see them, but they're there. Force ignite the previous. I don't really want to do Devil's Dance, but okay. I'm going to draw into attacks now. So this is not the worst. Got a little Panache proc. So we have a couple attacks. Let's see what random power we get. Whenever an attack deals unblocked damage, apply a soul burn. Nice. One. Two. I could remove his orbs, because to be honest, I don't want his Dark Orb. But he's about to do Capacitor Cold Snap, so I can wait till then. Let's turn it up all the way up. Turn it all the way up. And now he's adding a lot of orbs. So let's go ahead and remove his orbs. What an ass I am. Force ignite this. No, advance. Force ignite. Play in power. Skip a beat. What a doozy. I need an attack. Don't come actually to show your run. Well, I, I current core is like, concerned of that. I need one more attack, which is. Currently not here. Let's go back in time then. There's my attacks. Um. Wait, why am I not playing my potions? Because there's an Act Four, right? Is there an Act Four? Oh, too late. I didn't play my potions. Too late. So after glacier, I'm gonna get rid of his next uh, orbs. We have his orbs now. He's about to play Blizzard. Force ignite the next one, and I get time warm back. Ah, but it doesn't let me go forward. Yikes! Let's get rid of his orbs now.
Fence. Time warp. Catch up. Boom. He has bias caught core surge. This guy is a legend. He has 69 soul burn. How fitting. How perfect. But let's finish him off with our ultimate infernal ghost flame. So we do force ignite. Incineration. I we can let him die at soul burn too, I guess. And die. Spike this. Spike that. Drink that. Oh wait, there might be an act four. Right, what am I doing? Thump, thump, thump. You feel something evil at your very core. You give souls back. He squirms in elation. You ask yourself, have you truly done enough? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats, sensing an approaching threat. The fight is not over yet. Oh my Nyawith. Let's go. I brought him back. He has calipers. Oh lord. I just wasted all my potions. Oh no. Okay. Quick study. Speed running. Empower. Hex level. Go back. Quick study. Give me ancients. Get a random power. Gain two intensity. Play the fifth seal. Play this. And let's go. Can't wait to fight the meow. His apotheosis panacea, hand agreed. He has all the colors cards. He's got ice cream. Apotheosis, nice. We play an attack, so. This is my current active one, okay, so let's draw a card. Let's do this. Let's advance. Oh. Fuck. I have time warp all of a sudden. Let's advance. <laughs> I gotta keep track of where I am. So I'm right here right now, right? So if I play this attack, I go forward. Alright, cool. Let's go back to that one. Let's play this power right here. So now we have those three. Okay, cool. Okay, he's about to blow me up with a bomb. So what I need to do is do this. Bring that one back. Let's bring this here. Fast forward. Play two attacks. And block for a lot. We have seven energy. We're nice ignited. He has a sadistic nature applied. Cool, cool, cool. Now I play a power. Boom. I'm almost at my final form. Let's turn the intensity way up. Alright, two attacks, and then we are at our final form. There are the two attacks. One, two. Oh, and it's happening. Block. 15 times 6! Whoa, mama! Advance.
He has the bomb coming up. Hey, it's not gonna get enough. So let's play another attack. Boom. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind. Catch up. Fast forward. Let's play two more attacks. I can't yet. Wait, I I can make this. Wait, you can make a really good deck with this with this uh with this class. This is a cool class. Now that I understand it, you can do a lot of stuff. Whenever an attack does unblocked damage, apply four soul burn. Yes. Deal nine damage. If the active wisdom is ignited, advance. If not, ignite it. Yes, that's so good. All right, one more fight, guys. The final now. Cards and goes from the Platinum Soul Burn. Charge up in the next turn. Get 20 block. TMS Cupcake with a Twitch Prime. Thank you. I got so caught up in the mechanics that the guy died before I realized. He also didn't give me a potion. Let's take, let's take this and this. We have nothing to smith. Our whole deck's upgraded. Wait, why can't I smith? That was Heat Crush? I just missed Heat Crush? I just missed Heat Crush. The whole chat is... They also... Okay, this guy is big. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That makes sense, that makes sense. Okay. Enemy intends to inflict a negative effect on you. God of life cannot be killed. Retreats to recover when reduced to zero HP. In four turns. Lose. Okay. That's so my soul burn. I already know that. Exhaust one card. Let's exhaust. Ritual. Cut call. First off. Go slash. Sick. Ignite it. I know I went back in time. I know. I know. It's fan made. Yes, it is. It's a fan made mod. Yes, it is. Bewildered. When you play another card, muddle your hand and then discard this. When drawn, add a field to all cards in your hand. Who needs this defense? Not me. Add a random power. Okay, two attacks, two attacks. All right, so the problem here is I need to get, I need a, I need a force advance, I need an advance. All right, wildfire, fifth seal, repair crush, defend. He keeps making my cards ethereal. All right, two attacks, I got that this time, one, all right, add a slime slash to your hand. Exhaust. Icky. So, force ignite the previous one. No, we already have that one ignited, right? We're currently right here. Let's do slime crush. Let's force ignite. That's time warp. Icky. Incineration. Alright, now let's catch up. Alright. 
Took damage. Took damage. Let's do that. Alright, I'll do this. Bewildered. Alright, we have two skills to play, so... One... Two... Advance. Skip a beat. Rewind. And play two attacks at some point. He's doing a lot of damage to me. But he's dead next turn. He doesn't actually die, but let's take a look. I'm gonna hit him. Mysterious magic. I guess that's the magic of never dying. Let's find out what that means. Arise. Never mind. Okay. The silent. Let's force ignite the previous one. No, we don't need to do that. Force ignite the active one. No, we don't need to do that. Fast forward this one. Force ignite this one. Get time warp again. Never mind, I lied. Okay, we do this. Now we have the big boy turn. Never mind, I lied. Big boy turn, 19 times 6. Twenty times six. He's got three gods of life instead of three. He has two instead of three now. Advance. Advance. Attack. Should have attacked first. Whoopsies. Draw. I don't have a power. This is bad. How do I ever apply this? I don't have a power. I'll tell you what, this guy's getting strong as hell. That's a lot of damage. I might not manage. I have good block with them. I need it on the I need it on the right turns. So I'm oh, he has plus six, but does he reset his strength when he dies? Hope so. These are all ethereal. That's not good. All right, Ironclad. Take 20 times four to the face. Force, force ignite this. Skip a beat. Strike. Retract. Catch up. Step through. Strike. Now we have a lot of things ignited. I need, I need fast forward for this. No! He's doing too much! I don't have any fast forward for this. No! I need fast forward. I'll get him next time. I exhausted fast forward. Can I check my exhaust pile? Damn, not like this.
Damn, two unlocks. No, I, I that was like my first time playing that class. I understand now. I think we should do much better next time. Much, much better. <laughs>